Assalamu alaikum, my name is uh, Mohamed Saeed Harib and I am a UAE national. Um, so, what exactly about the animation world that drew you in it in the first place? W was it, and you told me that you were studying architecture. When did you realize that, that this is not what I wanted, I wanted to do this instead? In hindsight, I always knew that uh, that animation was for me the way to go. But I, the, I've, I've seen the signs, but I did not realize that actually I have to be in animation or in arts in general. Um, when I went to the States, I started to take, uh, you know, uh, minor classes. So basically, you know, in, uh, in architecture, you have to study art. Uh, so when I, st I, st I started getting the A's and the B's in the art and in the physics, I'm starting to get the F's and the W's. So I was like, this is the way I should go. And I was having a lot of fun. I spoke to my father and he did not, uh, and he stopped me from doing that. He said, whatever you love to do, go ahead and just do it. And I entered the world of beautiful things and I was like the only guy uh, within 150 local students in, in Boston who was in arts. Everybody was in engineering and everybody was in uh, um, business and I was the only guy who was in arts and it was a very big risky thing but I loved every moment of it. And I'm sure when you came back like you said it wasn't uh, the animation world here in the Gulf it wasn't as uh, progressive as it is now. Uh, what obstacles did you face when you started developing that idea and you tried to sell it to people? The idea of Fridge uh, was called uh, you know, the, the Adventures of uh, the Old Ladies. And I had a sketchbook with six uh, pages done, each, each character and how, you know, how she looks like and why did I name her that name, X, Y, and Z. I never thought for a moment that I'd come back and suddenly realize this dream because uh, I thought it was very big. I did not know how to put together a team, and we don't have an industry in the UAE. And I knew that animation would take at least 500 people to pull something through. But uh, I was called in by uh, the CEO of Dubai Media City one day, where I used to work, and he told me, uh, you know, go uh, check if your dream can become a reality, if this sketchbook that you have created can be actually turned into a cartoon because part of our interest as Dubai Media City was to see if such things can take place in Dubai. And that sparked something in me because two months later, I came back with a demo, a 30 seconder of the characters moving for the first time and, and that blew me away. And that was like, for me was like, whatever you do, you just make this a reality. And how did this lead to the Lamtara Productions, which now is running up? How did Lamtara Pictures uh, um, start? Basically, um, from the day I was asked to investigate uh, doing an animation to actually realizing a product or a show, that was almost three to four years. In that journey, I had to go to uh, the Sheikh Mohammed establishment for young business leaders, and basically it's a financial incubator where basically they take projects and nourish these uh, projects, but that the only thing was that I was the only media project that they've ever taken before. They used to do, uh, you know, factories and finance certain other jobs, but to do uh, a media project was a very risky one, especially if it was a cartoon one. So, uh, but alhamdulillah, they, they accepted my offer after three years of convincing and going through, and it was a huge educational process. And uh, Lamtara Pictures was created to be the umbrella where Fridj will be created. And Besides Fridge, because everyone knows you as the Fridge, the Fridge guy, the Fridge guy. But besides that, what else do you do? You mentioned Fridge folklore and a couple of other events that you've done. Um, you know, I'm happy that people know me as the Fridge uh, director, but uh, I think Fridge was the result of many things before it that people might not know. Uh, for example, I have created the logo for the Dubai International Film Festival, the horse logo. Uh, I've also created several logos for Dubai Holding, and uh, I've presented a show, uh, a photography show, back in back in the day called Axe with Dubai TV, and that really, uh, uh, you know, um, helped me be a, a better photographer. And because I became a better photographer and a better illustrator, I started to be uh, or become a better director. After that, of course, um, I worked on Fridge Folklore, which is the largest Arabic theatrical production. It's a huge uh, uh, project, or it was a huge project for me. And from there on, I started working on uh, big events such as the launch of the Dubai International Film Festival. I had another big one last year, which is Emirates Aluminium launch, and I'm doing another one this year. I love doing these kind of things because many people, although they see me as an animation director, I'm actually many things. I do many, many things, and I don't like to stick 
to one uh, thing. I'd rather be, you know, the jack of all trades and hopefully ace each every uh, each one of them. And what do you think about al Hain compared to before when you were first starting up the media world in uh, in the Khalid? How how has it progressed, especially for the younger coming generation that are now getting into it? I think uh, in terms of the you know the media world, I think uh, we we're seeing a huge. Uh, um, you know, it's opening up bigger and, and we see more and more TV stations willing to compete with each other. Also the mentality, we were in the, you know, in the era of dinosaurs back then, you know, it's very hard to sell a concept. They're not uh, in tune with what's happening outside and what the younger generation is watching. And I think that's a very big gap as an Arabic audience. Uh, uh, the youth is watching something that is international, but then they're watching something that is Arabic and is less quality. So now we have the, the you know responsibility of bringing Arabic quality products. And I think with Fridge, we always try to make the show more polished, technically more advanced, musically nicer, because we want the younger generation to feel that this is not just another crappy Arabic show. This is something that we uh, can be proud of at least. Uh, we have a lot of our youth members and readers that are on the site and they keep on telling me you know, they go into certain fields and then they get to that point where they want to, you know, they get a breaking point where they want to give up. Have you ever faced in your career a point where you wanted to just, it was getting too hectic and you wanted to give up? Or um, for me, I think the hardest uh, thing was um, I was not uh, used to basically uh, building up or going up the stairs a little bit and a little bit and then you know success after success until you're matured and X, Y, and Z. Now I am. But uh, from because Fridge was a huge phenomenon success, uh, a cultural phenomenon from year one. So you were born on top. So if you're born on top, the only way you will go is down. So basically, uh, mentally, I was not ready for that. Uh, uh, when season two came out or season three, which was, I consider, you know, uh, a season that we had a lot of struggles with. Uh, you know, people get down to you, and they, you know, um, you, you they re it, it can break you. But alhamdulillah, I mean, we had to rise above all of this, and it make us it made us a better company. It made us a better show. Season four came out, and I'm very proud of it. Fridge Four Tour came out, and it's it's really on another level. And uh, and it, you know, they say what doesn't break you makes you stronger. And um, in media, especially. It's it's a very it's a very weird business this one in media because uh, at one year or in one stage they make you the hero and then they the second year they put you down the third year you become a hero again it's like they love comeback stories so yeah. maybe now I'm a hero but tomorrow I'm going down again <laughs> so one question that was submitted was uh, where do you gather your support from or who is your support system um, my support system is basically everybody who is passionate about what we do or what I do. Uh, my team members, uh, you know, uh, they know that we are all in it together. My family, of course, uh, people online uh, and Twitter, uh, people uh, checking out the websites. Even you know, like I get, I get, uh, I get support from the you know weirdest places. An old woman will call. You know, um, she will say, you know, I thank you so much. You, you brought this to, uh, you know, uh, you brought this back and you made us proud of it. Yeah, and for me, this like it's worth, it's worth like a million, a million thank yous. So, um, um, I hope I, it, it never stops. Yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself going in the next couple of years and and them Tara production? That's a very tough question because uh, they keep asking me, do you have a strategy in mind? Where do you want to put yourselves? And I, I, to be honest with you, I have no idea what kind of projects come my way. Uh, uh, that's why it, we find it very hard to put a financial plan for us every year. Like to say, you know what, we will work on X, Y, and Z. The only constant that we know is free. But then uh, out of nowhere comes this project that is due in three months that's huge. and and. You know, and it pushes you in a certain direction, let's say from an events perspective, or you have this wedding that becomes the talk of town, and then suddenly you're doing 10 other weddings, and then suddenly we're like a wedding company. So we're like gelling and molding ourselves uh, to where we, uh, you know, where we see fit. But in the end, uh, and it's very important that we have fun in what we do, and it's not something that becomes boring. And I think this is something that my team can tell you that we don't get to do one thing all the time. You know, we, even in Fridge, every episode is different. Yeah. What advice would you like to give to the uh, younger generation that are up and coming in their respective fields? 
I think whether they uh, basically join the workforce and, and uh, work for a company or basically take a risk and do their own thing, I think what is very important is that they stay very true to themselves and uh, ask themselves if this is something they really want to do, is this something they see themselves uh, uh, really uh, becoming very creative in because creativity is not related to uh, basically if I am a talented person or not, you can be creative in business, in architecture, in whatever you, you do, as long as you have the passion uh, uh, to do so, and uh, hopefully that passion will lead you into uh, greater things. And if people wanted to keep up with you uh, personally, and also Lemtera Productions, how could they do that? I think the best way to contact us is through our website, uh, whether it's uh, freej.ae, uh, F-R-E-E-J.ae, or by contacting me on, uh, on Twitter, that's uh, at MS uh, Har. Thank you very much for sitting with us. Today. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Ahmed Said Harb, and you are on thinkup.ae.